It is the Blitz here on San Antonio Sports Star 941 FM AM at 1250. He's Joe Reinegel. I'm Jason Maddox. Let's talk to Stephen Jones of the Dallas Cowboys, brought to you by Miller Lite, the only beer of the Dallas Cowboys. Stephen, I know you've been in a whole lot of meetings. I won't ask if it was about Odell Beckham Jr., but man, I tell you, there is I, I can't recall a more talk from a locker room, from various people associated with the team about a player that's not currently on the roster. I almost want to ask, sir, when, when is the press conference introducing OBJ as a Cowboy? <laughs> well, uh, obviously, uh, Odell has a lot of, uh, I guess we've got an echo, but Odell's got a lot of respect uh, in the league and certainly a great player and rarely are guys like that free agents this time of year, so. I certainly see the uh, enthusiasm and excitement for a guy like him. You know, Stephen, when you look at a guy like this, and obviously there are other teams that are reported to be interested in in Odell Beckham Jr., how does that go back and forth? Is, is it a back and forth with his agent? Can you kind of take us inside a little bit, and not disclosing anything, but just what you can? You just communicate. That's it. It's uh, You know, you have communication. Uh, certainly, he hasn't communicated much because he hasn't been ready uh, to play football yet because of his ACL injury in the Super Bowl. But I think now, as he's getting closer to thinking he might be ready to play, certainly, uh, you know, thoughts about him are picking up. Stephen Jones of the Dallas Cowboys joining us here on the Blitz, brought to you by Miller Lite, the only beer of the Dallas Cowboys. Coming off the bye heading into Green Bay this week, and I think about the last time we saw your team in action, a a uh, season-high 49 points, but also an injury to Zeke. A lot of questions about his status for Sunday. What is your gut feeling? Well, it's just obviously we're working through uh, the injury with him, and uh, certainly Zeke's one of those. If, uh, if anyone can go, it'll be Zeke because, uh, you know, his desire to compete, and, you know, he wants to be there for his team, so you know, if anything, we got to protect him from himself. But, uh, you know, we'll continue to monitor it uh, uh, through Saturday, and it's more likely it'll be a game-time type decision. You know, Stephen, when you go to a place like Green Bay, obviously the Green Bay Packers not playing as well as they have in the past and struggling just a little bit. But that is still a place that you better take your A game, is it not? Absolutely. I mean, anytime you're going against, uh, I mean, obviously a great line of quarterbacks and Brett Favre and now Aaron Rodgers, you know, they've uh, been one of the winningest franchises uh, in the league since we've come into it. And, uh, you know, it's a really unique place to play, great history. And then, of course, uh, they have Aaron Rodgers. And certainly they're, if you will, backed into a corner. And uh, that's when uh, teams can be the most dangerous. So we'll have our hands full. Certainly got nothing but respect. Uh, for the Packers, and uh, uh, it's going to be a tough game for us. You know, Stephen, I've been uh, saying on the show all week, this, this game makes me nervous. Cowboys should go in there and, and win big. Everybody talks about how they're just going to go destroy the Packers, and there's something about Aaron Rodgers. And l- looking ahead to Minnesota a, a week from today, how is it inside the building with Mike McCarthy and his staff making sure that the Dallas Cowboys stay focused on Sunday? Well, Mike does a great job, and certainly there's not going to be any player in that locker room who doesn't know how important it is to Mike and several people, uh, a lot of other members of our coaching staff who coached up there. So uh, I expect us to be uh, ready. I, I, no one's going to underestimate Aaron Rodgers and uh, what they bring to the table. And it will certainly, uh, I think, be emotional for Mike because he is going uh, to a place where he won a Super Bowl, won a lot of games. But uh, I know how much our, our team knows what it would mean to Mike if we could go in there and play well and win the game. You know, when you, you talk about Mike McCarthy, Stephen, because he got emotional at his press conference on Monday talking about going back up there. His kids were born there and all of that kind of stuff. How special uh, will the Cowboys make it? I guess, or, or, or it, will there be anything done, or is it just a business trip? And Mike McCarthy says, the heck with all that. We're gonna, we just want to play football and win this game. No, this is a business trip, and I'm sure Mike will make it that way with the team. Uh, There won't be anything out of the ordinary. We'll go play a game like we always play a game. Nothing needs to be said about how, uh, I mean, Mike said it all, uh, you know, his tenure there, and uh, we've just got to go take care of our business. 
And after the win, have the bus drive down the street that's named <laughs> after him right there by the stadium. Now, speaking of Coach Mike McCarthy, he said earlier today, Stephen, that his family has already gone up to, to Green Bay. It's his birthday. He said he was going to be alone. Are you guys going to take him to dinner or something tonight for his birthday? He's 59. <laughs> well, we all know what we think of Mike, but these coaches, they got their mind on their game. So uh, we're certainly uh, cognizant of that. But uh, Mike's a, a, a great coach, and uh, I know he'll have our team prepared. Stephen Jones of the Dallas Cowboys, I know it's been a busy day for you. You're getting out of a meeting, about to go into another one. Always appreciate you taking the time with us down here in San Antonio. Thanks, guys. Great being on.